What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, internationally renowned, worldwide syndicated, the most electrifying YouTuber there is today. Because, you know why? Because I bring it. That's right. I bring it. You know, I don't sing it. I bring it. Always. 110% bring it. And people don't like that. People get their feelings hurt. People get, you know, butt hurt because I criticize their friends. And, you know, this type of place and space don't have room for hurt feelings and crybabies and losers out there in the space. All right, but anyhow, I don't want to go off on a you know, side talk here, tangent. Let's go into what's going on in the latest in the coin market cap before I get started on the subject at hand. By the way, it's going to be a day today of huge epic proportions. All right. So if you watch my videos throughout the day, my plan is to do about four videos today. And I'm going to top it off, you know, first with this one, Saphir Zanik. And then I'm going to go through Mido Finance, right? And I'm going to go touch on Doge Vax. And lastly, top it off with the epic conclusion for today of what's going to happen with crypto future. Is the future still you know, happening or will there be no future? That's what we're going to find out. But first off, here's today's video on, well, let's take a look at the market real quick. So for us, uh, see Bitcoin is going a little bit sideways right now th as we speak. Ethereum still hanging in there around that same mark as always. Binance hanging in the same mark. Look at that. Jumped up to number three again. Just past Cardano. What else is going on? Okay, Doge is still there. All right. Still around that same mark. Wow, Uniswap took a jump up to 25 now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Tron, it's been hanging around nine cents lately. I've been noticing that. And pancake, nineteen dollars. Okay. I don't know. That talk about. <laughs> here's that shit coin. All right. Enough of all that. Oh, here's another interesting tidbit before I before I actually go on here. Check this out. It's very interesting. China bans crypto. Look at who is holding all the Bitcoin. Right. When you look at. All the people that hold Bitcoin, look at this. So number one is Grayscale, obviously. They bought, they had a huge run up in purchasing Bitcoin, right? Uh, the Chinese government, look at that. <laughs> number two, right? Block one, uh, let's see, wrapped BTC. U.S. government, look at that, huh? Top five, U.S. government, MicroStrategy, another company, Celsius, CoinShare, Tim Draper, Tesla. We all knew Tesla was very much in it. Uh, Stone Ridge Holdings, BitMEX, Insurance Fund, and uh, Michael Saylor. All right, so very interesting stuff here. Look at, I mean, when you look at the top, well, 10, let's just say top 10. Tesla, Celsius, MicroStrategy, U.S. government, <laughs> Block One, Chinese government, and Grayscale. So just saying, crazy stuff. Just wanted to share that. I thought it was very interesting. So then now that we're all on the topic of coins and everything else, right? I figured I wanted to jump back into what this is all about. And that is, let's see here if I can find it. Is it right here? Zanique. Yes. And it is available on Uniswap right now. And you can check out their smart contract address, right? All you got to do is go to the Zanique. Zanique website and you can see all that but the reason why I'm talking about Zanique is because you know there when you look at what is going on with Zanique it's gonna it's it's a very interesting way to go about collecting crypto right so Zanique well it's the coin itself right and how you get Zanique is through the 
I guess you could say the on ramp would be Saphir, right? So Saphir would be here, right? Saphir brings the hardware and software solution to creating, you know, or minting, not creating, but minting Zanik, right? And they bring the hardware necessary to do so. And it's a unique opportunity when you really look at it, right? The unique opportunity and, and how to, to go about minting away and collecting. That's all you're doing, just letting it mint and we collect. And it just keeps going and going. Let me see if I can find it here. All right, so when we look at what Zanique can bring, they're right up there with everything else that they're all about out there, which is crypto, right? And they're, what they have is right in line with other crypto that's out there. So let me show you how right here real quick. Well, Zanique, right? They do minting of coins through green minting which is not an electricity intensive mining. They have a decentralized exchange, which is right in line. When you look at, let's look at the exchange real quick. If I can find, it. here we go. All right, best exchange rates, low transfer costs, very low fees. Uh, you have added advantages using the Zenit coin, right? And when you look at how Uniswap is and PancakeSwap is right, these are two examples of other decentralized exchanges, right? And what Zanique brings is that it's its own blockchain. It has compatibility with all coins and tokens, right? Because the uniqueness of that is it can do everything in the Binance blockchain, everything in the ETH blockchain. I mean, it's cross compatible when you look at that. Right, which is very interesting. It's all coins and all tokens can go through Zanique uh, as exchange here. And that's what makes that very interesting already. And of course they say fast transactions, it's adapted for tokenization projects, low fees, right? Not ETH based. So if it's low fees and it's not ETH based, that's like right up there with uh, the Binance, right? Since Binance is like pretty, uh, cheap in general and uh, low price, well, which is what I already just said. Um, Zanique is right in there with them. So to me, that's already an added advantage of using the Zanique exchanges because it's cross compatible. It could use everything coin and token. So what's make, what makes Zanique also unique is that there's only going to be a limited number of coins and there's going to be expected appreciation of it because of the limited number of hubs with minting power and uh, the annual halving that they will do and the distribution of profits from the Zanique exchange for sustainable income, tokenization of Zanique projects and others and hybrid block <laughs> hybrid blockchain Additional master nodes possible. Zanique coin can serve as a platform for tokens, right? So it's already listed on Uniswap. Next step is to be listed on PancakeSwap for these coins, right? So this is where it's at because of what, you know, you can use with this tokenizing with Zanique, right? Financing projects, um, huge savings potential for companies, and 100% transparency, time savings through blockchain technology. Some of the things that they talk about that they've already achieved and what's coming. Uh, there's a lot of things that can be done and this is kind of like a chart of time having, sales having and all that. And um, in the chat, there was, a, there was a set of numbers that they threw out there. Let me see if I can find that. Okay, so on the Zanique site, for these hubs that mint these coins, uh, 32,000 have been sold. On every 2,000, the halving went down 2%, and everybody else gets less. Soon it will go down to the next phase, and after every 2,000 sold hubs daily, coins will decrease to 1% every time until the next, uh, was it, eight and a half years. So that's very interesting. 
uh, about 200,000 with version 1 with masternodes, which will have a minting function. The next version will have just a secure hardware wallet with exchange, no minting anymore uh, after when all is sold. So there is a limited number of hubs available, right? And um, to me, I think it's a great opportunity to be a part of this process. So the on-ramp to minting these coins is through Saphir in terms of getting these hardware and software solutions. So here's the dashboard to that. And through Saphir, I did get a hub, right? And not just a hub, it's a minting farm, right? To get full master nodes and to be able to create uh, what they say is uh, in-house minting. Right, by just getting a pair for this amount of euros here. You know, this is partial master nodes for this one. This one's full master node minting hub, right? And this is a Zanique hub here, just a master node. Um, I don't know what's the difference between master node and full master node, but this is a minting farm. So I went after this one, and you go even bigger. You could go max out of here if you want, if you want to go do that. I mean, look at that, three hundred thirty thousand. A uh, euro for that, you know, pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, so this is where I am uh, minting right now. So, so far, since I first started, um, 464 have been produced out of all that when I made the purchase. You can look at the purchase here, 910. So, not even four weeks in, and I've already purchased... Or I'm already collected 464 since the 10th of September. So I'll just go into that over time. And I'm just going to just let it just keep on minting away, right? Let it keep on minting. Let it keep on minting. Soon it will be added to Pancake Swap. Soon all these hubs that you can utilize and purchase um, are going to be sold out. At some point, I'm not going to say it's going to happen overnight, but at some point when that time comes, you know, it's going to make this even more valuable, right? And to me, the potential is there. The sky is the limit on where this thing can go. It's going to be very, very interesting um, what's going to happen with all this. And this is where it's at to get started to, to that process of just collecting all these unique coins. And right now... I'm just going to just let it mint and collect. All right. Let it mint and collect. And pretty soon they're going to have their own exchange. And their own exchange is going to be wide open for any and all crypto. And you don't have to worry about, you know, certain ones going into uh, Uniswap, certain ones going into PancakeSwap, right? Because they both can't cross compatible. You can. It's, a, it's just all the extra steps you got to do. To be able to wrap coins and all that, right? You got to wrap Bitcoin or whatever, wrap ETH and things like that. And there's no wrapping involved with that, right? Um, it's just straight up. Just put it in the exchange and boom, just like that. It doesn't matter what it is. And that's what's cool about it. And so, to me, I think this is a, a, a huge opportunity with huge potential right you just gotta just you know again do your research really dig into this because i had to really dig into it myself to grasp it to understand it and um they do frequent webinars to try to create the awareness and the understanding of how this whole minting process works and what the plans are in the future on the value that this thing is going to bring to you, to us, right? That's, that's working this. And so, to me, I mean, uh, like I said, the sky is the limit. And uh, this is something of great potential that I have running in the background with all the other platforms I got going on right now. This is something that is nice to have in the background for me just to also just let it build up over time. And so, and I'm okay with that, you know. So I just wanted to just share this opportunity with you just to show you guys what it's all about and what it's been accumulating so far. So 
Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Links down below. And I'll see you next one.